Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Taba Adeyemi is a young man in his 20s. He's a Yoruba Nollywood actor and he has big dreams. He was born a twin. However, he lost his twin brother when they were just 3 years old. So he was the only child of his family for more than 8 years. He had everything he wanted. However, later on he had 3 other siblings. When he was a kid, he had a dream of becoming a doctor. He attended Tesco Montessori School in Alagomeji, Yaba, in Lagos State for his primary education. From there, he proceeded to Livingstone College in Okorodu and also Whitfield College in Festac Town, both in Lagos State, for his secondary school education. When he completed the secondary school education, he tried getting into a lawyering, but he wasn't given admission, so he decided to go to National Open University, where he studied environmental science and resource management. What does acting mean to him? Acting is a beautiful art or process of becoming someone else, so convincingly for a while. In its words, to me it's a religion you must believe in it. You must practice it well, then it becomes a part of you. He started acting in the year 2014, and the first movie he acted in was George Brown. Also, as at that time, he was working with an online rental agency. But then he used to create time to be with his uncle, Corey Watt or Barson whenever he wanted to shoot his movies. One of those days when he was with his uncle, the actor needed a secondary school student in a movie, so his uncle approached him and asked if he could give it a try. It was hard for him to accept because he was going to shave off his beards, but eventually he did it. The movie came out in late 2015 and everyone started calling him to tell him they saw him in a movie. He said then it was strange to him. After that, they shot another movie in 2015 and from there, he started loving the acting process. People started referring him to producers and directors and he also started practicing on his own. The most popular movies that he has featured in include George Brown, Flaky Jaya, Purple But Not Purple, Motherhood and Helpline. So how was his first experience like? In his words, it felt really weird. I wasn't audible enough. I was nervous. I almost passed out. Each time I remember that now, I just laugh at myself. Mainly because I had to be in the secondary school uniform, no beards, and with many people behind the cameras. I wasn't projecting at all. I was so nervous that I almost passed out. We had like six takes before I eventually got the lines right. But my uncle and the director were really encouraging. They told me I could do it. They were really patient with me till I got it right. So what has been his lowest moment in his career so far as an actor? It was when he went for a movie shoot in his what? It was when I went for a movie shoot that was supposed to take 7 days. I was there from the day 1 to day 6 of the shoot just for the producer to tell me, Taiwo, I'm really sorry. I don't think you'll be able to work on this set because we found someone who is more known than you are. And I was like, oh really? After spending 6 days with you here. And the most painful thing was... The producer was the one chasing me around with the script before the production. So it wasn't as if I was begging for the role or so. I felt really debased. But then my uncle told me Taiwo will move on. It's one of those things. Let's talk about his personal life. Who is Taiwo Adeyemi dating or engaged to secretly? Well, for now, there is no one that he is dating publicly. So what has been the challenges so far? Majorly, the fact that some filmmakers won't cast actors based on their ability to interpret their roles well, but based on this person is my friend, is a major challenge to him. He's not the type of person that wants to be friends with everybody. It's not pride. It's just that not everyone in your workplace should be your friend. Work, get paid, and go home. That's what he does. But some filmmakers cast just their friends. They won't even mind if it's a wrong casting. And there's a lot of actors out there that are not even working. But some filmmakers would prefer to bring in comedians, singers, it is just to be on their project. He understands that money has to be made. So they want to use these people to get their money back. But if we continue that way, dreams will be killed. In his words, we won't have rising actors anymore. Even when a lot of actors go for auditions and turn their social media platforms to monologue series. Some filmmakers will still watch, like and move on. Filmmakers should please give up and coming actors the chance to exhibit or showcase their talents. What has been his achievement so far? He got his first award, Maya Award, in the year 2018 as Nollywood's New Hunk. He was also nominated at the City People Movies Award in 2018 as Best New Actor of the Year Yoruba. He also got nominated as the Most Fashionable Actor of the Year at the Oduduwa Movies Award and also got nominated as the Discovery of the Year at the Emperor's Award. Aside acting, what else does he do? He's also into modeling, sometimes he also sings, and sometimes into business, buying and selling, sometimes also film production, coordinating, and sometimes into event planning and social media influencing. 
for Taiwo, acting alone can't pay his bills for now. So why does he see himself in a few years? He sees himself securing the biggest bags of money in the film industry. He sees himself with international collaborations and getting lots of notable awards home and abroad. He sees himself in Hollywood. Hollywood is the aim. So why his mentors? His mentors include Kurede Walter Basson, Asaf Olusei, Ronkel Dusoya, who is popularly known as Flaky Diduwo, Gabriel Falayon, Ibrahim Chata, Mwabudu, Salah Perry, Denzel Washington, Chiweta Ojiofo. These are the people he has learned a lot of things from. He has watched them religiously and followed them. They all inspire him a lot. On what separates Tawa Adeyemi from every other actor in the industry? We reveal that, well, I did say what separates Tawa Adeyemi from every other actor in the industry is the way I interpret my roles. I'm not saying I'm the best, but the way someone else would interpret isn't the way I will interpret. And that's because I love to receive my script on time, so I can work on it. I'm also a spontaneous actor. However, professionally, I love to prepare and make personal research on characters being given to me to play. Some fans also say they love how I speak and also how I'm selective with the movies I feature in. So I guess different people have different reasons for what separates Tawa Adeyemi from every other actor in the industry for them. In the face of numerous challenges associated with rising through the ranks in Hollywood, what has been his motivating factor over the years? He revealed that his greatest motivating factor is that when he looks back and see that he's not where he used to be and there is a progress in his words i'm not where i want to be yet but if i keep working hard i'll get there and then secondly a lot of people look up to him he does not want to disappoint them i know that the future of nollywood is very bright great actors are coming up every day there's no place to play everyone is improving on their craft every day and that keeps me going too because i don't want to be lagging behind he said he's rated as a very stylish actor. So who are his five most dressed actors in Nigeria and why are they making this list? He revealed this in an interview that his five most stylish actors are Jim Ike, Ramsey Noir, RMD, Femi Adebayo and Timini Edusun. They made the list for Tawa Adeyemi because their outfit sits well on them perfectly. They don't force it. It comes naturally. He was also asked in the interview that the influx of untrained actors in the industry is fast taking a dangerous bend as most people enter through back doors with little or no training at all. So what does it think can be done to cop this menace fast building up disrespect for the industry? His response was that I actually feel there should be a proper way for actors entering the industry. Truth be told, a lot of damage has been done to the image of the industry and it is alarming. There should be rules and punishments for whoever goes against the rules. I'm just scared of selective empathy and that seems like the only thing we know how to do best in Nigeria right now he said so if he was asked to advise a class of intending actors what are the 10 things he would tell them to have or to do to be a successful actor he mentioned keep learning keep improving be true to yourself be true to your craft be focused don't take shortcuts be ready to pay your dues also ensure you make good use of your social media platforms put your work out there don't depend on anyone to get you acting gigs and above all things work hard and pray hard he said. We have come to the end of this episode on this Yoruba Nollywood actor Taiwo Adeyemi. We hope you enjoyed this episode and like one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.